Hi everybody, it's Carol and I'm back with another journal share and this is a journal that's made out of um, chipboard. I forgot the name what, what it was but this is made out of chipboard and it is 9 by 9 by 9 and um, I might I made this a while back maybe maybe a month ago or something and um, I've just been so busy with other things and I thought let me share this now with you and show you how I did it um, this is made with uh, Tim Holtz cardstock every every board I used I use a Tim Holt four five six seven eight eight or nine we'll get to that in a second um, I have a handle up here and I have s some material it's actually I believe a tablecloth and this is how I bound it I keep it closed I bound it closed I have um, ephemera here like fl flowers and little um, I have lace I have ribbon and I have charms on here and I have it held with just some heavy twine so let's open it up and get started it's really kind of heavy compared to the regular journals I've only made one hard journal like this out of chipboard but as you can see, this is all Tim Holtz material. I'm sorry, Tim Holtz uh, cardstock. And on the front cover, I have a tuck and I have a journaling card in here with um, some labels on there. And on this page, I have a paper doll. Let's see if that's holding something on the other side. I have a paper doll and um, yes it does flip open for some journaling so I'll get this back on there and over here I have the Tim Holtz bird I cut it out and made it like a 3d and I have a journaling card behind the bird and I have some floral ephemera and snippets of lace I have snippets of lace on the front at the edge over here and then on the other side with a little heart charm and on the lace I have some beads oh this is the other side of the little girl and I have a journaling card in here, two journaling cards. There's the lady, the paper doll with her, her dress form. And over here on this page, I have a, a little dangly charm on a bowl pin. And I have a flip over and it's on a belly band. And you just hook it on there and I have a snippet of lace on the bottom of that page and over here I have a tuck place with a butterfly on it and inside there I have a pad coffee dyed paper those are one of my favorite pieces of ephemera are the pads the tuck over with the pad. They're fun to make and they're great to use. And on this page I have a journaling tuck with a journaling card. And here's um, what I made a couple of weeks ago. And I stuck one in here. This is the glassine bag with a journaling card. And then the little tuck in the front I have another journaling card. 
and then the, just a piece of ephemera. I have lace and I have it gathered in the middle with uh, a little rose. And on this page, I have floral ephemera again. And I have a tuck place with the journaling card. And in this tuck, these are fun. Look at all that journaling you have there. All the journaling spaces. Stick it in there. And then over here on this page, I have more of the floral ephemera. And in this tuck, I have a journaling card. And in this tuck, I have one of these. And I made these a couple of weeks ago. And I do have a video on it. More journaling so pretty and I have some pink lace on the edge over there and on this page I have a couple of tucks with some more journaling cards and on the bottom here I have journaling you can journal on the front and on the back and on the top I have the tops reinforced with with um, Tim Holtz washi tape. And then I just have decorations ephemera on there. And here's another tuck with the journaling. Now it looks like I have a envelope with a little, oh, let's get this out. Oh, maybe that doesn't come out. I thought it did. Okay, we'll get this back in there. And over here, I have a, a tuck with the journaling space. And behind the journaling card, I have another playing card for more journaling. And behind that, I have another journaling card okay and on the next page oh I have a little dangly hanging from from the clip oh and I have another piece of ephemera that I made maybe a week or two ago and on the back, I have another journaling card. And that slips into there. And then over here, this is a fun. Open it up and you have all this journaling. And that just hooks down. Okay, and then over here, I like the size of this journaling card, and I love the back of it. That's why I didn't coffee dye it, because I just love the way that looks. This is Tim Holtz paper. And that goes in there, right in that tuck, and over here I have another journaling spot with a journaling card and here's a flip up with another journaling card inside there and that's it I guess at the very back there's a little flip up where you could write a note if you would like But this is a, a journal made from chipboard. It's very thick and heavy. It's heavy and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight boards in here. And um, 
it's fun. They're fun to do. They're fun to work on these. And um, that's it. Well, thank you so much for joining me. And um, you have a great day. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll talk soon. Bye.